Hello and welcome to Inside the Women of Denver, where leaders share their successes, failures, and lessons learned on the journey to success. I'm Crystal Covington, founder of Women of Denver, and I'm here with Sheila Swanson McIntyre, owner of Abundant Life Coaching. Sheila blends law of attraction coaching principles with energy healing to help people thrive in every aspect of their lives. Sheila, I'm so glad to have you on the show today. Tell us a little bit about what you do and why it matters. Oh, why it matters. Well, let me start with so many of us say, you know what, when I uh, get that whatever it is, then I'm going to uh, you know, build my dream home. Then I'm going to, and it's always out in the future, someday, someday. The thing about it is someday never comes and we really can have the things that we want we can have it now maybe not right this second but if we set it into motion we can work towards those goals and we can actually create the kind of life that we really want to have wow so what do you mean when you say set it into motion what do you do to set that that energy into motion that you're okay. talking about. Absolutely. Well, what I do, normally what I do, I have workshops that I conduct, and uh, my program is a 90-day program because it takes 90 days to create a new habit, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're creating a new way of thinking. So I start out with having people decide, what do you love? What do you really, what lights you up? What gets you excited? What is something that you're missing in your life right now? And there are so many people that are hurting, mm -hmm. you know, and, and just need that boost. But it's really important to know exactly what it is, what you want. So we get that all written out, and then we go into detail. What does that look like? And the most important piece of that is what does that feel like to have it? because we are so used to living backwards. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna feel happy when I have that perfect job. I'm, I'm gonna feel happy when I find that perfect partner. Mm -hmm. But the point is, you have to start feeling that wonderful, happy feeling first. So people are looking for things to bring them that joy, not something inside. That's exactly ah. it. That's exactly it. You have to start inside first. And then, you know, when you have that energy, I mean, you know what it's like when you meet somebody that you feel like you've known all your life and you right? immediately click, you know? <laughs> That's the kind of feeling and the kind of energy that you want to have. Because once you feel that, then you attract those people that you really want into your life. Okay, so when we first met, you told me an incredible story about the reason you got into your business. Tell me about that story. Share that story so that other people understand the value that it has for you and how deeply passionate you are about it. Absolutely. Well, uh, I came to this work. <laughs> it was a very difficult journey. I was, I suffered with alcoholism for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And during that time, I went through several treatment centers. Really, I tried everything. I even tried acupuncture and hypnosis. Nothing worked. And I had no passion in my life. I mean, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was trained as an actress, and I was pretty successful around town. Was busy, but that just didn't light me up anymore. Yeah. And so I was thinking, what do I do next? I don't know what I want to do. I don't have any real reason to get sober. Well, um, a little while ago, I was on Facebook, like I am a lot, and the program that I teach came along. It's by Mary Morrissey. It's called the Dream Builder Program. Mm -hmm. And I got to tell you, it was like being struck by lightning. Wow. Everything in my body said this. This is what you have to do. This is going to get you out of your funk. And the exciting part of that was, as soon as I was certified, I mean, within a week, I stopped drinking. And I mean, it wasn't like, okay, let's see if I can stop. It was. One day I wanted to drink, the next day I didn't. That I mean, is incredible. Yeah, that was my miracle. That's what got me out of my funk. Yeah. And discovered that I wanted to share that with other people. People who feel hopeless, feel stuck don't know what to do, don't know what their passion is, don't know what the next step is. 
I can create a program that shows them exactly the steps to take to get where they want to go. So tell me a little bit about what you feel when you're doing the work that you do. What does it mean for you when you're working with another person that has come from a place of hopelessness mm -hmm. and you know they're disappointed in life, they're disappointed in what's happening to them, they're not feeling like they're doing the right thing for them. How do you feel when you're helping them out of that and what do you say to that person? Oh, well, I mean, first of all, you ache for them because I, I mean, I know what it's like to be in their position. So, um, first I get them to see that there's hope and that the hard part is stepping out of your comfort zone because you know if we keep doing the same things we've always done we get the same results that we've always gotten right so it is that leap of faith but once you figure out what it is you want your life to look like then okay what can you do today what are let's figure out three things that you can do today to work towards that goal and then we take baby steps so that uh, they're not doing something that's so foreign and so scary that they just shut down. And seeing people's transformations is just, well, I, I mean, I, I can't really even put it into words. It's, it, it's so fulfilling to know that you're helping something out of that deep, deep, dark place that they're in. Yeah, that's amazing. So tell me a little bit about what you, what you want out of your future in this. What do you ultimately want to give to other people? What do you want to have, um, you know, you're, you're living your purpose, you're doing your dream. Mm -hmm. What do you want to have come out of that? What do you want for other people, the people that you serve? Just like I said, to have hope. I mean, really there's a way out. Yeah. I mean, so many times people think there isn't and they get stuck in their problems and really the problem is not the problem. The problem is your perception of the problem. Like Einstein said, you can't solve a problem with the same mind that created the problem. Right. You know, for example, if you know, you've ever been in a situation where something comes up and you're very upset and you have no idea what you're going to do, and then all of a sudden, someone from the outside comes in and says, oh, that's not a big deal. Here's what you do, bang, bang, bang. And it's just like a light bulb goes off. Yeah. So in your introduction, we talked a little bit about you being, um, teaching a little bit of the power of attraction. Can you mm -hmm. share what that is? For a lot of people, they may not understand what power of attraction is and might have it a little confused with other things. I'm going to correct you here. It's the law of attraction. Law of attraction. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's power, but it's very powerful. It is powerful. The powerful law of attraction. It is. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the law of attraction is that you can attract exactly what it is. But like I said, you need to be in that position where you know exactly what you want and you need to create that feeling of already having it. Mm -hmm. Like, say you're gonna, you wanna add a couple zeros to your income. Once you have that couple zeros, what is that gonna feel like? What are you gonna do with that money? Are you gonna donate it? Are you gonna help people? Are you gonna travel, go back to school? What are you gonna do with that money? So, so it's like really writing clear. that million dollar plan. <laughs> exactly, well it's like Jim Carrey. Have you heard the story? I well, did hear yes, the story of putting, yes. didn't he print out a check and put it on the wall? Yep, and okay. he, every day he'd get that million yeah. dollar check out and look at it yeah. and look where he is now but he did that daily mm -hmm. so it's you have to become what it is you want to attract and another aspect of my business is I also do healing with that and sometimes the law of attraction only goes so far and you start wondering well I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing what's wrong with me and you start beating yourself up yeah. well the truth is you might have some subconscious blocks that are keeping you from attaining what it is that you want. And I can go in there and we dig and find out the root of the problem, and then I can heal that with energy healing. And we test the results, that's what's really cool, we test the results with muscle testing. Ah. You familiar with that? I am familiar, I've had it happen to me once. I know, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's like, do 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 do, do. And, it's, but but it isn't, isn't it true? So the time that they did it uh -huh. with me, 
I thought, oh my gosh, what did I walk myself into? <laughs> but what she came up with was actually correct, and Isn't I didn't give amazing? her that information. So I thought, okay, well, I will let this go, but it, it was definitely something I could <laughs> hardly accept as being real. <laughs> Oh, it know. was difficult for me. <laughs> but, well, well, it is for a lot of people, and I yes. totally get that. I completely get it. Um, but it isn't woo-woo. I mean, it's energy. Everything around us is energy. Yes. Everything, you know, can you see gravity? No, exactly. No, but the law of gra gravity exists, you know. We're, we're bound by that. And, and that's, uh, you know, with the energy that flows in our bodies, too, can be tapped into. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for giving us this information, sharing a little bit about what you do, who you are, and what it means for the world. Sheila, I really appreciate having you. Well, my pleasure. My <laughs> pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> thank you. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching Inside the Women of Denver. I'll see you next time.